Good evening, I'm Keely Van Middendorp. Here's what's making headlines across the county. You may have just put up your Christmas tree, but Kern is reminding you to recycle it after the holiday. There are 24 different drop-off locations where trees can be disposed of. Collection starts the day after Christmas and goes until January 10th. Officials do want to remind residents to cut the tree into small pieces first and remove all decorations and lights before taking it to be recycled. We have a list of locations on our website, turner23.com. And an organization synonymous with giving back this time of the year is joining forces with another holiday heavyweight to brighten a child's Christmas. Toys for Tots and Cookie Land Christmas Town need your help to make it all happen. Last year, Toys for Tots was able to brighten Christmas morning for 61,000 local kids. This year, program coordinator Darlene Dotty says she's grateful to partner with a Cookie Land Christmas for a four-day event to help her collect even more toys for those in need. When these children look and they go, wow, look, mom, look, you know, um, think about your children at home that are getting toys and you're sitting there watching them and drinking your coffee. Think about that child that would not have a toy otherwise and the parents sitting there, they have nothing for, to open that morning. How sad is that? The toys collected will be distributed locally from Tehachapi to Fraser Park, Taft to Wasco. It benefits children from newborns to 18. And we've got some more winter weather on the radar. We're tracking already some rain and even probably some mountain snow in northern California. It's going to be a while before that actually arrives here. Maybe a sprinkle or two into our Wednesday, but it's really Wednesday night into the Thursday and then Thursday night into Friday that that really pushes in. So this is going to be a long lived storm and we'll be anticipating it here. Now, as we head through the day tomorrow, in general, warmer air mass in place, so the potential for some warmer temperatures. If it is a foggier day, those temperatures will be a little bit cooler, though, but mostly 50s and 60s across Kern County. But again, we really see that rain as we head into Thursday and into early Friday, which is Christmas Eve, and then we're keeping an eye on another rain chance, Christmas Day into the day after, and even Monday to Tuesday. It's going to be a very active seven days. There's uh, an entire possibility that we'd get at least some rain each of the next seven days and the potential for some heavier rain with that system tomorrow into Thursday. Same story for our mountain communities. Now Thursday into Friday, not too concerned with snow. With that second system, though, that pushes in Christmas Day into the following week, that looks a little colder. We'll keep an eye on our snow chances with that one. And that's your latest news and weather update. For the latest update anytime, be sure to head to our website, turn to 23com